Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to talk to you about the Waterflow model for software development. The Waterflow model is a sequential design process, often used in software development processes, in which progress is seen as flowing steadily downwards, like a waterfall, through the phases of conception, initiation, analysis, design, construction, testing, production slash implementation, and maintenance. The waterfall development model originates in the manufacturing and construction industries, highly structured physical environments in which after the fact changes are prohibitively costly, if not impossible. Since no formal software development methodologies existed at the time, this hardware-oriented model was simply adapted for software development. In Royce's original waterfall model, the following phases are followed in order. Requirements specification design construction implementation or coding integration testing and debugging validation installation maintenance Thus the waterfall model maintains that one should move to a phase only when its preceding phase is completed and perfected An argument for this development model would be that time spent early in the software production cycle can lead to greater economy at later stages And as we all know McConnell shows that a bug found in the early stages, such as requirements specification or design, is cheaper in money, effort, and time to fix than the same bug found later on in the process. That's all very well and good, Abe. But what about the incremental development model? It is after all an evolution of the waterfall model where the waterfall model is sequentially applied. Fair point. Elaborate then. Ladies and gentlemen. The advantages of the incremental model. 1. After each iteration, regression testing should be conducted. During this testing, faulty elements of the software can be quickly identified because few changes are made within any single iteration. And 2. It is generally easier to test and debug than other methods of software development because relatively smaller changes are made during each iteration. This allows for more targeted and rigorous testing of each element within the overall product. But what of the disadvantages? You have the cost. Resulting cost may exceed the cost of the organization. Also as additional functionality is added to the product, problems may arise related to system architecture which were not evident in earlier prototypes. The advantages of the waterfall model far outweigh those of the incremental model. In your opinion. What? Oh, whatever. The waterfall model is simple to implement and also the amount of resources required for it are minimal. Output is generated after each stage so therefore it has a high visibility. Both the client and the project manager gets a feel for the relevant progress. Thus this is better than a haphazard approach as it provides a template into which methods of analysis, design, coding, testing and maintenance can be placed. You have forgotten that projects very rarely operate like that, and that to get the customer's requirements explicitly is extremely difficult. And it is even more difficult if the client is not computer or illiterate. Okay, well let us settle this then once and for all. The waterfall model places emphasis on documentation as well as source code. In less designed and documented methodologies if a team member should leave much knowledge could be lost and the project may not be able to recover. The waterfall method itself progresses linearly through discrete, easily understandable phases thus is easy for a new team member to slot right in. It does however require that the implementers follow the well-made Complete design ensuring that the integration of the project proceeds smoothly. And with the incremental model we can say that the risk management is incremental. It provides the client with the flexibility in decision making and reduces the risks of change in use requirements. Score one for the waterfall, that was a useless point. Well at least with the incremental model the thing is actually built to a certain extent and can be tested, debugged and then retested. I suppose. You to include the methods of the waterfall model and combine it with prototyping. That does actually seem like a good idea. I told you so. What? No you didn't. 
Anyway folks that's all we have time for this evening. Thank you and good night.